hello welcome back so to start this 45 elbow we'll just um, start a new part file and this drawing is in inches and my default is inch so you don't have to um, I don't have to change my but if yours isn't in inches you can go um, up here to the options um, just click on the options and document properties units and you can change it here if yours isn't in the default so to start we are going to start by designing the bottom part first so we go on the top plane sketch um, just gonna move it down over here and we'll draw a center rectangle at the origin point something sticking out that way and we know it has on this dimension if you look it has like it's 3.75 square so that means it's um, a square. So we can add 3.75 dimension over there and we can make this line and that line equal to each other. So it is a square. So once we have that, uh, we can even complete these other two features over here. So what the easiest way we can do that, if you look, the center point for that radius and the center point for that diameter circle is all on the same they share the same center point so we can just add a fillet now and it's going to ask you this just click yes and add a fillet to all four corners and that and the fillet size is going to be 0.56 and click ok and now that gives us the center point then we can add our circle there. So just add our four circles on the center point. And click those circles and make them equal to each other. Equal and um, add a dimension to one of it. So your sketch is fully defined. And those circles will be 0.38. And once you have a fully defined sketch, you feature extrude and we are going to be extruding it up and it is going to be extruded uh, 0 0.50 <laughs> so we have that the first one we have the bottom face so the next thing we need to do is if you look um, this is carving this way so let's just assume that's like the right plane so so we want it carving this way so that's our right plane select the right plane and draw a sketch number two and let me move it to the side away from my drawing and now all you need to do is start with a um i always like using this three um this three point arc so you just go click on your first point click on the second point and just drag it somewhere here and just click so we have that draw a line coming from the bottom out make that line a construction line and that represents this line over here and draw another line from the end point of this line um, not an arc a line that is connected to the top so that will be this line going to the top of the top face of that and what you want to do is add your damage um, your angle first so this will be 45 so we have that I think I have an extra line in there I'm just going to delete it um, okay that will be 45 and what we need to do is add the radius for this arc and the radius is 4 point and another thing we need to do is the center point of this arc if you look at it it is also on the same it is parallel pretty much coincident with the bottom edge of that face so we need to take this center point and this line and just make it coincident so at least that center point is on that then we can add our angle now our, our radius and our radius is 4.88 so gives us what we want 4.88 and I think we are missing one more stuff so we have our 45 oh yes so this point 
this point if you look down here this point is also coincident with that center point so we'll take um, this point and that center point and match them together so our sketch should be fully defined let me move it so where you can see it so we have a line going up our arc need this the center point of the arc and the line end point of that line is pretty much coincident just like they have in this picture and we can make this a construction line and and what we're going to do is exit out of that sketch so there are two ways you can draw this is going to be like a sweep um, but I like this new features in SolidWorks where you can just pick um, the your sketch and do like a circular sweep as opposed to making a plane up here making your circle and sweeping it down so we're just going to go to sweep we select circular sweep and as you can see our sketch our solid sketch is selected and the diameter of that is um, we know the inside diameter is um, where is it um, somewhere over here we know the edges is um, 0.38 and the inside diameter is 1.62 so that will be 1.662 plus 0.38 plus 0.38 and click OK. So it's 0.38 for the two sides and click OK. Good. So we have that feature. And now if I turn on the sketch, you can just kind of see what's going on. So we have that. So on this top face, click on this top face, uh, sketch number two. And now we're just going to draw a circle. Um, just if you hover over this, it should the center point should show starting from the center point draw your circle out the diameter for that circle will be um, 3.88 3.88 and you can also click this circle click that center and make sure they are concentric with each other so and our sketch is fully defined we have that then back to feature extrude um, back you want to extrude it back because that's the top face and we have the top face here we want to extrude it back down 0.5 click OK and again we need um, to cut our slots and the hole so let's um, cut the hole first click on this top face again um, sketch number two um, we are going to draw a circle just draw a circle anywhere over here it doesn't really matter then click this circle and click the outside edge make them concentric with each other and the diameter of that circle is 1.62 so 1.62 1.62 and if you see it that's what it looks like so you using um if you don't have that make sure you show the sketch that we used to make this feature so what we're going to do now is just exit out of this sketch and we are going to do a sweep cut so a sweep cut select our profile which is the new sketch and we just select the sketch for that for this um, feature and we're going to sweep it around that in the and click OK so we have our cut on the inside so we have one more stuff to do click the top face sketch number two um, bring it somewhere and bring over here so now what we want to do is just draw a slot uh, somewhere over here just draw something like this for now and make sure the that and the arc and the point origin point they are vertical to each other so on the same thing and the length is 0.38 so from here to here is 0.38 0.38 and the, the out the for distance down is this radius so we need to draw this radius which is um, 3.38 so we'll draw a radius over here or somewhere here for now make sure this and the outside edge is concentric and dimension is 3.38 and make sure that's a construction line and now select this bottom edge and that and make sure they are 
coincident with each other so we have a pretty much fully defined sketch already we just need to I always like make sure you always fully define your sketch the outside part is sticking out that's okay we just need to add a dimension to it we can make that 0.5 just to fully define it so we have our sketch something like that and we are going to feature extrude cut line you want to change that to up to next and click OK and we have that cut up there and one more thing we need to do is go to the circular pattern and you want to select for these parameters you want to select the outside edge um, make sure you select the top part outside edge and it is 4 as a 4 slots equally spaced so we have 4 360 equally spaced and the feature you just want to select this face and there you go and once everything click OK and we have our feature and we can hide the sketch now and the only thing we need to add now is the uh, radius so click on our radius the radius here and the, it says the radius up here is 0.12 but fullest and radius are 0.12 so that means all the radius are 0.12 so change this to change this to 0.12 and you're just going to add it up here um, down here uh, not the face but um, down the down edge and this edge and click OK and we are done and that is how you make this elbow let me increase my image quality so uh, it looks much smoother I'm just going to increase it and we are done and all we can do now is add I'm just going to minimize this I uh, a material so I'm going to metal steel and I'm just going to do uh, a carbon steel click OK to the part and um, if I go to my isometric view and that's the part anyway thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye